Oh yeah, what's up, dog? What's going on? Oh, for real? You good? Oh man, you need somebody to come pick you up again? Hey man, this three, man, this three weeks in a row, man. I'm here with my family. We watching a movie. We got popcorn. But man, you keep getting in trouble though. Like, I had to come get you from the police station two weekends ago because you were speeding and drinking. Then you had a flat tire. Now you talking about you broke. Man, I love you and all, but damn, man, I don't think you're learning your lesson. I mean, this three weekends in a row, can I have some family time? And it's always on the weekend. Go figure that. All right, listen, man, listen. I love you, but you're going to have to take care of this on your own, man. You're a grown-ass man. And no, it, it doesn't matter if you was a female or not. You'll be a grown-ass female. But since you're my boy, I'm letting you know, you got to get yourself out of this. I can't keep saving you. Yeah, all right then. What? What? Hey, Ross, where my money makes money. Stop being a savior. Stop being a savior. You can't save everybody. You try to. You can't save everybody. Not your friends, neither your family, or someone you work with. You can't always save. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't help them when they are in need. But a lot of us have people in our lives that always need saving. They always need saving. And I'm going to break this down Barney style because some of y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about saving somebody. I know for a lot of you, like, what is he talking about? You ever had somebody to keep come over your house asking for eggs or sugar or flour or juice? <laughs> now, some of us have and some of us haven't. That's just a really small example. Like, why does this person keep coming over here asking for eggs, milk, and flour like every three or four days? You might say, oh, they, 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 they being bummy, okay? They skimming, okay? They're leeches. They're all of that. But in a sense, you're saving them. For whatever they got to go do, either they didn't want to spend their money, they didn't have the money, or they didn't want to go to the store because they're lazy. You're still saving them. Now, we can multiply this three, four, five-fold, just like the conversation I just had, which it was all imaginary to give you, to put the thought in your head, of a friend or a loved one or a family member calls you up or pops up over your house, whatever it is, asking for you to save them. Hey man, hey bruh, hey sis, oh, I really need this amount of money because X, Y, and Z. Well, Daryl, John, I gave you this money last week. What did you do with it? Oh, well, something came up. You ever hear that? They ask you for more money they ask you for more money because the money that you originally gave to them, something came up to prevent them from handling the bill or situation with the money that was originally gave to them for that problem. Does, does that make any fucking sense? Now, excuse my language again. I'm sorry, guys, but I had to speak about this because we are good people deep down inside. And I mean everybody, everybody in the world now, granted, yeah, we got crooks, criminals, and killers. Something is wrong. They're probably psychotic, in my opinion. Or they killed for a reason. And those guys belong in jail. I'm off of it. But when does it come a time where you stop saving somebody? When you actually say, you know what? I've helped you on many occasions. I'm no longer going to help you. Because guess what? That person or them people are not learning their lesson. And just because you stop. Just because you stop helping them doesn't mean they're going to learn their lesson. Could they become worse? Yes. Could they become better? Yes. Could they stay the same? Yes. But if you're not some sort of psychiatrist or therapist and you're not really equipped to handle them, to help them, then don't. Sometimes, unfortunately, for your own survival, for your own achievement, you have to not save them. You can't always be a savior. You always can't be there for that person, especially what you have going on is more pertinent. And that's your life and your family or your business. Whatever it is, you have to understand that you have to stop being a savior all the time. This is Ross World. But now we're recognizing that, you know, sometimes people use us. Sometimes people abuse us. But sometimes they need to understand I ain't going to always be there for that ass. I'm out.